Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron, and thank you for stopping by. It's always appreciated. I did a video a while back that appeared to help a lot of people out, and I wanted to do a follow-up video giving some additional tips for making your computer run faster, and more importantly, reclaiming a ton of lost hard drive space. Now, the original video I did was actually four fixes for Premiere Pro to fix and prevent freezing and crashes. And if you missed that video, I'll put a link up here so you can check it out. In short, there are media cache files that can eat up a ton of storage space on your machine, but this video isn't about those media cache files. In this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to reclaim even more hard drive space by deleting old project files and preview files from Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, your project files are those files that you see when you first open Premiere Pro, but probably aren't using them anymore. So let's go ahead and clean those up. Now, let me just preface this video with saying that my workflow may be different than yours. So first, let me describe the workflow I use before I have you delete any of your files. After I've finished a project and the final video is exported and uploaded to YouTube, and I no longer need all the extra files created by Adobe Premiere Pro, I take my final video after it's been uploaded to YouTube and store it to a separate external hard drive, just like the one shown here. From that point, I'm no longer in need of revisiting or using those project files and the preview files associated with that archived video. Now, if your workflow is different or you have a need to revisit existing or created projects or preview files, then this video is probably not for you. But for everyone else, keep watching because we're about to clear you up some serious hard drive space. Now, I'm using a Windows 10 machine, so if you're using an Apple machine with Mac OS, your file structure will look a little bit different, but the process is gonna be nearly identical. I just don't have a, a Mac machine to demo for you. Also, the location of these files may vary depending on how you set up your Premiere Pro on your specific machine, but it's easy enough to figure out. What you want to do is open Premiere Pro. I'm currently running Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, which is version 14.0. So my startup screen may look different than yours, but the process is going to be the same for older versions of Premiere Pro CC as well. So go to File, New, New Project, and click on the Scratch Disk tab to see where your project files are being stored. By default, project files are stored in the same place as your Scratch Disk files. And here's the directory structure that you're probably going to see. From here, you can see where all your project files and preview files are being stored on your hard drive. Then just go to that directory and delete those project and preview files. Project files will have the .prpoj file extension, and preview files will have a file extension of .prv. Now, the current version of Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud 2020 is version 14.0, which came out in November of 2019. But if you've been using Premiere Pro Creative Cloud for a while, like I have, you may also have older versions on your machine under similar directories. But instead of seeing the file directory that ends in something like a version 14, it may say something like 13, 12, or even 11 dating back to 2017. And you can clean up those files in those directories as well. Once you find those files, just go ahead and delete them. You're not seeing a ton of files on my computer because they had to delete them uh, a few weeks ago before I decided to actually make this video. But again, I figured if I had the issue, I'm sure many of you are as well. So I wanted to put this together for you. Again, preview files have the file extension ending in .prv and project files have an extension ending in .prproj. And these can be deleted from all of the directories shown here. You may just want to pause the video so you can see all the directories that you may need to delete files from. Now, once you've deleted all your unwanted files, you'll also want to empty your trash can. And now check your hard drive space and you should see a substantial increase in reclaimed hard drive space. Now, deleting all these old project and preview files isn't going to have any impact on any new work or projects that you're starting, new project you're starting, and you should actually see a performance increase from your computer now that you have a lot more disk space. Additionally, once you've deleted all those project and preview files, You'll no longer see them in your startup menu when you first launch Premiere Pro, as shown here. And before I go, I also wanted to mention there are nearly countless ways to set up and manage file storage using multiple external hard drives or RAID arrays, but I think most of us who are doing uh, video editing for YouTube aren't using these more elaborate setups. But if you're doing more professional work uh, for clients, it's certainly worth looking into. And for the rest of us, just periodically check those project and preview files that they aren't getting out of control and delete old files if you're no longer using them. And that's it. If you got any value out of this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell for future notifications. And until next time, 
Take care, happy editing, and we'll see you in the next video.